Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick, and today we are going to do a cute little drawing of a sea turtle. We're going to be using a combination of markers and watercolor pencils. All right, here we go. So, like always, I like to start with my eye to give it some life. Our head is going to be over in this area here. So we're going to start with a fairly big eye. Nice big circle. And we're going to put another circle inside of there. And then we're going to make a little circle here and a little smaller circle there. And we're going to color this part in. He's going to have a nice big black pupil in his eye. So we have two little highlights on this one. We're going to extend above here and just color that in as well. So you've almost made more of an oval now instead of a circle. All right, and I'm gonna put a little bit of an eyebrow right there and a little line under here. Okay, we're ready to make our head. I'm gonna start on the top of my, my turtle here I'm gonna come down behind, and this is where his neck will be it's coming into the shell. I'm gonna start the other side, and he's going to come down in front. We're gonna give him a little bit of a, a clip nose there, almost like a little parrot. And we're gonna come back around and give him a smiley face. Now, we want to see a little bit of the other eye over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a little bit of a half circle and another circle where his pupil would be. And there you can kind of see the other side. And we're just going to extend a little bit up here as well to make it match that one. Our little turtle is going to have an open mouth. So we're going to take a line and do the inside of his mouth right there and then come around and do the bottom lip like that. So you can start to see the turtle. We need to give him a little nostril, a little upside down teardrop with a little line for the top of his nostril. We're going to proceed with the neck down in here to meet up, meet up with this one. All right, so we're gonna come under the lip here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm coming down and I'm coming down like that. So notice it kind of matches where that one ended. All right, we're ready to make his shell. So my shell, if you look here, I'm gonna start up here a little farther. It's about the same as where my mouth was on mine. I'm going to come across and I'm going to do a big line, an arced line, like that. And then above here, I'm going to start here and I'm going to come down and we're going to make the bottom part of the shell. And we're going to meet up with that point right in there. All right, so you can make this a little rounded more or um, just to make it um, more like the shell shape. Now we're gonna put some scallops around the edge. So right here, I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna do kind of these almost squarish rectangle shapes around the edge like that until you come right to the end of the back part here, right in there. And I'm also going to add a second layer just to make it a little more fancy. And we end there. I'm also gonna add a line here just to double up the edge of that shell. 
Okay, so we're ready for the markings on the back here. So what I want you to do is we're going to draw a line on the same curve, kind of as that one, and be another line through there. And then we're going to draw lines down, and we're making squares. Let me do them for another one here. Now, we, we kind of have just squares there. So what we want to do is we want to kind of round the edges of these. So I'm going to come in here, almost like a little star here. I'm going to fill those in like that. All right, so notice I've done them all here. I've done the edges too. Now it looks a little bit more like the, the shell should. Let's add our tail. So our tail is going to come right in here. And we're gonna add a foot back in here as well. And another foot down in here. Sea turtles don't have little claws, they have fins like that. All right, we're now ready to do the front feet. So I want to do one of my feet right here. Again, another little fin that just comes around. And the other one is going to be kind of behind his head here. like so. All right, there we have our little sea turtle. Now, I wanna put some um, dots on it. You could do like half dots on the edge like this. And there I've added uh, dots all around. I've added some bubbles here as well. You could add some seaweed. You could maybe do a coral. Okay, so if you do want to do coral, you kind of come up here, make little ends, almost like a little tree. I can add little dots there as well. And I'm gonna put like sand on the bottom. And you could add a lot more dots, a lot more seaweed. All right, I'm going to do watercolor and marker. So I, I've got the, uh, the other one ready to go, and I'm gonna show you how to do the coloring on this. All right, so here's the sea turtle I did earlier. And if you notice, I already have colored in the dots, and this is with marker, this is with marker. They're all with marker. The other sections are with watercolor pencil. If you notice, I've gone around the squares here, around my legs. And right here, you can see that I've actually put a bit of watercolor pencil on top of my Sharpie. I actually use Sharpie so that the, it doesn't uh, unblend. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the watercolor here. So if I do my squares, my paint is around the edge and I can come in around the edge like that and blend my squares in. And I've got this kind of highlighted area. And notice on mine, I actually did two different colors of green in a grid, just because I thought that was kind of cool looking. So I've done my shell. You notice how it's kind of highlighted in the center there. That's how the watercolor pencils work. So my feet, uh, because I've used permanent marker, I can actually take my watercolor and go right over my dots, which is very convenient. If you use regular marker, um, you're, they will blend over. 
which is okay too, but you'd have to be more careful to go around them. I'm not using a lot of water, I'm not overdoing my water because I, I don't want to wreck my paper. I'm not using watercolor paper because I want you to see that you don't need to use watercolor paper if you don't have it. You can just use regular paper. But see how I can go over my Sharpie, my permanent marker. And there's my turtle. Now I want to show you right here. This is as marker, Sharpie. I can take this dark green, a little bit of dark green there, and it kind of makes a little bit more of a shadow on those little areas there. Then I can come up and do my seaweed. So I've done my seaweed and now I'm going to do my coral. Notice I did a little different color on the ends, a little darker. Clean my brush and I'm going to come do my, my coral. And I've got it lighter in the center. Now my little bubbles here, I've put a little bit of blue in there just to kind of give it a little bit of color. Doesn't take much to do that. And there you have a finished seed hurdle with a mixture of permanent marker and watercolor pencil. Again, you could use whatever medium you like, whether you use oil pastel or chalk pastels or just markers, pencil crayons, whatever you'd like to choose. Notice I've colored in the eye here. Okay, so there is our finished sea turtle. Have fun with it. I'd love to see them. Send them on Messenger or to Blossom Row Art on Facebook. And thank you for watching Blossom Row Art. Bye.